What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope here, Rob Ricks. Hey, I'm going to tell you about a uh, incident that happened with me. So, actually, I want to tell you uh, a couple of stories here. Um, there was... So, after me and my ex broke up, <clears throat> I kind of was pretty self-destructive and rebounding like crazy and trying to just figure things out. And it wasn't very easy. I was uh, emotionally wrecked, just really sad and depressed and all this other stuff. And I uh, was looking for love, always trying to find something to make me happy instead of making myself happy. And I remember I was uh, hanging out with my niece one day, and uh, we were over at one of the one of the homies spot and he was on the phone with some girl I'm gonna I'm gonna call her Brenda that's not her name but I'm gonna call her Brenda and um, he said Rob get on the phone my friend Brenda's on the phone I said okay I got on the phone with Brenda Brenda sounded real good on the phone <laughs> sounded real good you know and I was like hey what's going on with you blah 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 we're all talking and whatnot and uh, long story short we uh, we we talk about hooking up, hanging out, catching a flick. I don't know some shit. Hang up with her, talk to my boy. Uh, we'll call him Dennis the Menace. So I asked Dennis, "Yo, homie, what's up with the girl? How is she? Oh man, she's cool." Okay, now I didn't catch that operative word. She's cool, okay? Anybody could be fucking cool, but the question I was asking was, is she hot? You know what I mean? So then we continued the conversation, asked where he know her from, woo woo, this, that, and everything else, asked if he had hooked up with her, and he was like, nah, that was like, that's like, you know, my cousin or whatever, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's your cousin. I said, you know, how she look, you know? What's up with her? You know, how, how is she? She How she look? I mean, she's cool. Again, with the cool. Okay, okay. So anyway, I go to meet up. <laughs> I go to meet up with Brenda. A knock on the door of the house. Little skinny, wiry sweaty dad opens the door. I mean, dude is sweating. He must have been working out or something. God, I hope he was working out because I don't know what would make a motherfucker that glistening. You know what I mean? So he's opening the door. He's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to pick up Brenda. And he starts laughing at me. He goes, okay, okay, hold on. So he yells for her. Now I look up and there's a mirror there and I can see in the mirror, oh my God, this girl was a wookalar. Look up a Wookalar. Look, look that shit up. And it's a Tim Knotts movie. And they were talking about a monster. And they call it the Wookalar. Talking about sucking your brains out and shit. <laughs> anyway, she was horrible. She was not cool. I mean, she was big, big, big. Which, you know, that's fine. I could see the oil on her skin. I could see her hair. Her hair was matted up. Really oily. Really thick, clumpy. Just not cool. Not cool. And I know some of you motherfuckers might be looking at me saying, you know what, Rob, that is so superficial. She might have been just a cool, Rob, you're a shallow how. And I'm like, yes, I am. And, I, and here's the deal, guys. Infatuation is mostly physical attributes, okay? The emotional connection that you build with a friendship and things of that nature, that, that's, that's awesome, okay? But the physical part of the relationship is vitally important for human beings in order to procreate and keep life going. Looking at her, there would have been no procreation. I, I could not, there was no amount of drunkenness I could have ever gotten where I would have been like, hey, let's hook up. It was not going to happen, okay? So... Time slows. I'm seeing her walking. Thunk. 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 Coming down the stairs. And uh, she comes down and she goes, Rob? 
And I said, nah, it's Eli. Rob told me to come pick you up. He got called into work and whatnot. He told me to come take you out, show you a good time, you know? So we well, come on, we go. We go have a good time. She was like, what? I said, Rob, can I make it? He said, me, I'm his boy. I'm Eli. He tell me come pick you up, show you a good time, you know? Take you dinner, wine you, dine you, you know, whatever. So I, I was playing off. Like it wasn't me, cause she had talked to me on the phone. She had heard my voice and my speaking pattern, and I just made some crazy shit up. And and I reach in my phone, and so she goes, "Oh, let me call him." I'm like, "Okay, you call him up." So I reach in, cause she's looking at me, hella suspect, right? So I have my hand on my phone. I press the button. Doot, phone turns off, right? She calls. She gets my voicemail, you know, and she's just looking at me, and I see tears in her eyes, and I'm feeling kind of bad, feeling down, man. Don't really want to hurt this chick, but you know, it ain't gonna work. You know what I mean? And so uh, she looks at me and she's like, no, that's okay. Just tell Rob to call me. I said, you sure? Come on, we'll go out, we'll have a good time. You know? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, I'll tell him. I'll tell him, call you. So I go out in the car, I fucking jump the fuck and get the fuck out of Dodge, right? And then later on, uh, later on I call her up and I was like, and I and I played like an asshole. I'm like, what the fuck? Why didn't you got my boy? You know, shit. I I got tied up. I couldn't get away. I didn't want to fucking stab you up. So I sent my boy to go hang out with you. What's up with that? You know, why you got to be like that? You know? And she was like, oh, I don't know. He kind of looked like a thug and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I started laughing at myself. I looked like a thug, huh? And so I think she was just trying to get a rise out of me. And I was like... Man, I was like, man, you can't judge a book by his cover. Homeboy is kind of nice, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with you guys. That was the the Wookalar incident. Ooh. And you know the funny thing? I told my I told my wife this fucking story, and she kind of was like, "That's fucked up." And years later, years later, we we're in a mall or something, and I seen the girl. I seen the Brenda, the Wookalar. And I fucking bump my wife and I go, there she is, right fucking there. And my wife saw, Ugh, bam, how do you like me now? Huh? How do you like me now? Anyway, that's it for now. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe, tell all your fucking friends. Until next time, please, be good to each other.